Owners in one eastern North Carolina town can rest easy knowing their local fire department is trained to assist animals dealing with smoke inhalation. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu explains how the Rose Hill Fire Department is training to make sure it's ready to take care of your pets in the event of a fire. The pet oxygen mask works by taking the mask, fitting it over the snout of the dog or the cat, and then starting the flow of oxygen. The Rose Hill Fire Department received one set of masks as part of Project Brief. And as with anything, it's better to be prepared and be able to react than sit there and say, I wish I could have. Three different sizes, small, medium, and large, fit a variety of different animals. Here's how they work. Connect them to a oxygen source, which is this oxygen cylinder here. We adjust our flow rate. Basically, we just connect it right here, put it over the dog's snout. Dog's snout would go in here. Each of the masks can be hooked up to either an oxygen tank or an ambu bag. The oxygen is highly concentrated to deliver the oxygen quicker. Smoke inhalation affects pets just like it does humans. Smoke inhalation can be very damaging to a pet's lungs in the same way that it would be for a human. They can eventually succumb to smoke inhalation if they're not taken care of quickly enough. So it doesn't take very long for a pet to be affected by smoke inhalation. Dr. Hunter says that's usually around 10 to 12 minutes. The fire department received training last week on resuscitating pets. It will have the set each time it responds to a fire call. It hasn't used the mask yet and hopes that day never comes. The fire department has one set of masks right now. They are reusable and they hope to purchase more in the future. In Rose Hill, Elizabeth 2, not on your side.